Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with an update for my full face collab with Catherine Pye. She already put her update up. She's very good at using stuff up and I'm not great at it. But I think I've made some real progress this time. Anyway, I'll link uh, Catherine's video down below, her most recent update, and I'm gonna go through my products. This is update number one for the full face collab between Catherine Pye and Mary, reviewer's diary. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. I'll go on first to the first product on the list, which was primer and Maribel Prime. I have not been using this very much because I've been using the one from my 13 by Halloween. This is awesome. This Ulta Flawless Prime is absolutely awesome. I've used a lot of different primers and I really like this one. Seems to go with either oil-based or water-based cosmetics, which is great. All right, off the subject because that's from the last video. Anyway, uh, Marabella, I have used multiple times, but I can't see through this tube and the product is clear. And so it doesn't show up in any way, shape or form, but I have used this. Okay, so I've done fairly well with that. Um, the next thing was the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. Crap, I meant to stick a Q-tip in there to see how low am I. Um, let me see. I can't see through here. I'm sorry. Next time I will um, definitely put a Q-tip in there just so I can measure it because I am down quite a bit. I've been using this with another, uh, with a BB cream that's too dark for me, and I've been mixing this together with that, um, so I'm slowly using both things up, but I like this a lot. If you had to ask me what my favorite non-cruelty-free drugstore brand would be, I'd have to say the Almay TLC Foundation, but this is a close second but I don't buy uh, anything anymore that's not cruelty free. And so when this is gone, just like the TLC, when that was gone, it was bye bye forever. It'll be the same for Neutrogena. But I know I've gotten, I got, I used quite a bit of this. I'm sorry that I can't really see through the bottle. It's just not easy. I don't think that I have put both of these in here, this concealer along with this concealer, but I have been using them together because quite honestly, this one is too light and this one is too dark and the two of them make the perfect concealer color for my skin tone. I did want to give you a little helpful hint too. I have become quite addicted to the Beauty Blender. I wish they weren't so expensive. Um, I did buy, I have an Ulta haul that's coming up and I did buy a set of sponges that are Ulta brand, so we'll see how they are. They've been getting pretty good marks, but there's no substitute for a real beauty blender. But I've also been using a cosmetic wedge. This is a little dried out. It's a lot dried out. Because you can see that it's bigger than the dry version, dry and clean. This one, you have to soak these just as much as you have to soak this. Soak them, you know, squeeze them until they're like really saturated, then squeeze all the water out. Same thing with this. And then I press them between the, you know, I fold a towel over and I squeeze it again. So I do the same with this. This actually is better for doing the under eye than the beauty blender is. Now I know they make many beauty blenders. I just don't want to spend the money, um, $18. So what I do is I fold this in half and when it's wet, it folds a little bit easier and then I can get in there and the squared off edge, I can really get up close. So, uh, I think these, are, I have about a bajillion of these. Um, I will keep using these for my under eye. I also have the real technique sponge haven't used it recently, but this edge is also really good for getting up under the eye for under eye concealer. Just a little helpful hint there. So this 
is much, much diminished. This, let's see, is down to about here. Now I didn't draw any lines on it last time and I'm probably not going to bother to draw a line on it this time, but it is to here because I'll get it'll rub off on my hands and I'll end up with ink everywhere. So it's about to here and so I think this will definitely be gone pretty fast because it was close to full when I put it in this challenge. This one is actually in the my use up in 2016 challenge and this is a new one. I had to throw the one the other one away because it's separated and I've been using these two together and together they are fabulous. Um, by themselves one is too dark and one is too light. So move on to the next item which is the let's see NYC smooth skin palette I see the greatest progress on this it seems now by the way notice I do have a puff in here I just got this at CVS so every now and then if I just need a little heavier coverage somewhere I'll you know do the puff and then I'll brush it off but this is freaking amazing. I, I've gotten so far with this. I hit pan, the, the pan size is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I think this is going to be done, I want to say pretty soon, but I guess I shouldn't get ahead of myself. This is in, is a uh, used up that Catherine Pye and I design, designed to end on February 15th. And so I'm thinking by February 15th this will be gone. All right, so the next product is a Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is going to be very hard for you to see any difference in. I did want to hit pan and or use this up. You can see the metal edges of the pan in here. So you can see that there's quite a bit gone, but it's not there's no hole yet it's not really measurable but here's where you can see it the best right here where the this metal edge is you can see where the metal edge is and then the product so that was pretty much even with the metal edge when I got it this was an ipsy bag and it's fabulous I really like it but I this will have to go on my notebook as a buy this when I run out of bronzer, which will be never because I have a draw full. <laughs> the next thing is this Neutrogena blush. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's worn down quite a bit. My goal was to hit pan. I would love to use this up. I'm hoping I can use it up by the end of this challenge. I love this blush, but it's one of those things I'm just not going to be able to get again. Um, unless by some miracle Neutrogena ends up cruelty free and not selling in China, but I really love this. But I'm not going to be able to repurchase it when it's gone. This highlighter, there's slightly less dome. Can you see that? <laughs> This is the Laura Mercier highlighter. I really love it. Um, it's definitely going down quite a bit. This is one of those deluxe travel sizes that seems to last forever. I also had my Walking on Eggshells, which I have used quite a bit, but it's very hard to really see any difference. I see it, but you may not be able to see it. When I hit pan on these things, that's when it's going to be most obvious. These two colors are the two that have the most impact. So, eventually I'll get there. I've been using this Clinique mascara. This is in the challenge, but I already have a whole bunch of mascaras open, which is totally unlike me. So I'm trying to use up the oldest one first. And the oldest one I have now that's open is this Perversion, so I have that one on today. Alright, and finally, 
yeah, these are the last two things. Um, one is a pencil, and this is NYC. And I did write on the back of this, very hard to measure these things. Um, the pencil, the measurements right there. It was right at the top of the paper when I started, and now it is just below that. I've been using a lot of different pencils and things, so I haven't really devoted myself to this yet. That'll be coming. Same thing with this lipstick. I actually have it on. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. And this is Max Factor. Can never buy it again because Max Factor now sells in China, even though you could order it here in the United States. And I hear they're coming back to the U.S. They backed out of the U.S. before. I used to go to the drugstore with my kids and every, like, so often I'd buy a Max Factor lipstick. They were my favorite lipsticks. They still are. But I can't get them anymore. So here's the mark that I made today. I did not mark it beforehand. So we'll use that as our mark and I really love this. I really do. I'm going to really miss it when it's gone. So it looks like that is everything for my full face collab uh, with Catherine Pye and um, definitely check in again next time for another update. I'm sure, um, and don't forget, Catherine's going to be linked below in the description bar. She's a very sweet person, so you should definitely subscribe to her channel. She's really, really nice. I just want to say that I'm going to try really hard to get more progress, but I do have to say that I, uh, I do have to kind of commit myself a little bit heavier to the 13 by Halloween, but I'll do my best. So thank you for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary and um, all these awesome products. Man, absolutely awesome stuff. So thank you for watching and have a beautiful evening. Good night. Lift up some products. Oh. Um, yeah, there are a lot more than this. There are actually 11 things, including the mascara is my 10 plus one. Anyway, have a beautiful evening. Good night.